Good job. <gasps> My little musical baby. <laughs> Somebody's all dressed, has had her breakfast, and we are off to go to school. Let's get this door. We gotta get her in here. You ready to go to school? What do you think? You go to school? She's <laughs> not happy about going to school today. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> Hey guys, so hi, it's Laureen. I'm coming to you from one of our pumping rooms here where I work. It's really nice we have three of them here, so there's a lot of people where I work. I work at a firm and in Boston, so thankfully they have pumping rooms that have computers so we can work. Uh, and there's also this Lactina pump here, and there's also a um, Medela pump and soil over here. Now this actually is not a multiple use one, this one was one that somebody brought in and I bought my own hoses and I have used it even though I know it's kind of not really supposed to do that, but I brought my own hoses in so I figured that part was the part that you know does expose to you, whatever. Um, but today is a bittersweet day. It is coming to the end of my nursing. I haven't been pumping for about three weeks now. So it's time for me to clean out my little bin here. So that's my bin of supplies. Um, I was pumping three to four times a day. Uh, at one point when my supply was getting low, I was pumping every two hours, and that was rough. I was really having a hard time. Uh, so now I only nurse Harmony at night. When I stopped pumping, I was nursing her in the morning and at night, and then just in the past week, I stopped doing the morning session. Um, occasionally I will still do the morning session if like she's really fussy and she just wants to climb up and, and cuddle with me. I honestly to God, I honestly do not think she's getting much out of me anymore. I don't know. I haven't pumped in so long, so I have no idea what, what she's actually getting. I don't think she's getting much. I think it's really just um, comfort for her right now. Uh, I know she's a little bit older. She's, she'll be 15 months this week, and a lot of people stop right around a year. And I kept it going just a little bit longer. One, because it was just easier for me to keep going um, with John not home. It was my easy fix when she got fussy. I could just nurse her and she would calm down. Um, it puts her to sleep really easily and in the morning when I wanted to nap, I, you know, when she wakes up in the morning and gets, um, and she has her like mid-morning nap, I would give her a nursing session and she would go to sleep. So, but yeah, it's, um, it's about time to stop. She really doesn't need it anymore. I did go a little bit longer too because she is a preemie and I just wanted to give her everything I possibly could, you know. From the beginning she's always had supplement formula so I felt like I really wasn't giving her 100% of the breast milk but I never really got a full supply. I think I kind of screwed up and I didn't really pump enough in the beginning. I was so tired though, I don't know how moms do it, I really don't. I know you just do what you gotta do but there were times when I would sleep through the night and I guess, you know, you're not supposed to when you're a mom, especially if you're nursing. Um, I, would, I shouldn't say sleep through the night, I would sleep through sessions when I should have been pumping. So I, I was pumping like every three hours, I would sleep six hours and skip that middle one of pumping. So uh, I would generally get up and nurse her, but she would nurse fully. She would nurse herself and then she would go to sleep. Because she was a preemie, she would exhaust herself when she was nursing, so she wouldn't necessarily nurse long enough so she would fall asleep and and I would fall asleep too so I didn't pump as much as I should have so my supply kind of dropped and I didn't get enough and it never really established itself to be a full um, nursing because I was also supplementing so I always knew in the back of my mind that I had that to fall back on if she didn't have enough um, if I knew she wasn't nursing long enough then I would just give her a bottle of formula or I would give her a bottle of previously pumped milk um, I tried to do that a lot, and then when she wasn't with me, she would get formula. Um, but most of the time when she was with me, she would either nurse or she would get pumped milk. So, 
But yes, it's coming to the, it's time. It has come to the time, come to the point. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> come to the point where I think it's going to be phased out completely. Um, like I said, I don't really think she's getting much out of me anyway, so I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Although I do think that she's going to miss that nursing um, comfort that she gets from it. Um, I've been trying to give her a bottle in a nursing position where she's kind of snuggled into me so she can still get that sort of comfort just from that. It seems to be working, so that might be the way I go. She is now also starting to really drink a lot of um, from sippy cups and from cups, just open cups. She's doing really good about that. She can drink from water bottles. So I think we're at the point where we're moving on. So it's exciting. I'm happy. It definitely frees up my time now at work. It was nice that I had a computer here to work with. So my work didn't fall behind too much. But when I'm home, I would, you know, I'll constantly have to stop and bring my pumping parts to be washed and everything. A tip that I did learn along this whole journey was just to throw your pumping parts right into the refrigerator. So they had a fridge here too, which is nice. Um, just throw them in the refrigerator, you know, kind of like clean them up a little bit, but you don't have to wash them if they're refrigerated. So you just wash them at the end of the day once. It saves a lot of time. Um, but yeah, so that's it. So I just wanted to fill you guys in. I didn't really say much this morning because I eh, just got into work and it's just a boring work day, but I wanted to let you guys know about this kind of milestone in our lives. So um, that's about it for now. So hopefully John is checking in with you throughout his day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I just wanted to show you guys that I have to walk by all of these stores on my way to the train every day. Oh, there's so many like high-end stores that I could never even step foot into. to do. Yes, did you I tell have... them about that at all? Uh, no. So, we're not sponsored by either of these things, but we were um, using Dropbox before, and each of us had our own Dropbox account, and I quickly <laughs> went over my limit of the freebie. John had a little bit longer because he had referred so many people, so he got a few extra gigs um, that expired every, once, every so many months after you had them. So then he eventually ran out of space as well. So I was on Amazon the other night and I just saw an ad for their cloud storage. So for the extra storage on Dropbox, we were paying each 10 bucks a month. And that gives you a terabyte, I believe. Yeah. Um, Amazon is unlimited storage for 60 bucks a year. <laughs> so we were like, uh, what are we doing this for? So we're gonna jump over to that and start storing everything over there for now and yes. then we'll, we'll still go from, from 240 a year down to 60 a year yeah no brainer mm -hmm. we'll still use the free Dropbox to do some stuff because I don't think the Amazon cloud is really up to um, you know the apps with everybody because everything goes through Dropbox as far as like you know easily transferring data oh now she wants to talk well we stopped <laughs> that's right that's right we stopped so, um, so yeah, so we're going to finish up moving all of our files over and then we're going to get rid of the paid version and just use the free version or um, local stuff and then we'll move yeah. everything over. Because I do a lot with uh, transferring files with Dropbox for my producer in Nashville and my art guys and my you know, everybody that I work with, but it's temporary stuff. I put it up, they get it, I take it down. Right. So the free version will do fine for that. Yep. All right. All right let's get the girl out of here. Go get her, Daddy. Look at Mama. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you're videoing. I did both. Yep. That's a cool Don't bib. You Leave your bib. Oh, nope. Wow. 
So it seems our little girl is fixated on chairs. Hi. She constantly likes to rearrange the furniture in the house. Mostly the uh, dining room chairs. She'll just move two or three of them around. She'll move each one a little bit. Oh, she wanted that one over here. She moved that one out of the way so that she could take this one around the table. Now let's see where she brings this one. You're a silly girl. What are you doing? Oh, I like she hit the pole and realized it was stuck. Oh. Uh, huh? you can't get that one. <laughs> see what she does. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love our stump. <laughs> Problem solved. That's right. Good girl. Your motor and you scratch up the floor. <laughs> nope, thankfully they got pads. Oh, you're there. Oh, goodness. Oh, my little rearranger. <laughs> now, where are we going? Right, we're going back. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Ready? Like this, you know. Yep. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Harmony Grace, Harmony Grace, can you come close this? Yeah. No, oh, gotta close it. Mm -hmm. Open it, close it. Good girl. Yay. Can you hit that button? Can you hit that button? You can't reach it, can you? Almost, sheesh. Good girl. <laughs> Yay. Alrighty, it's time for us to go to bed. So if you like what you saw in today's vlog, Please subscribe below if you haven't already subscribed. Harmony Grace, what do you think? Give us a good like and give us a comment. Tell us if um, tell us about your breastfeeding journey and how long you breastfed your babies or how long you want to breastfeed your babies if you potentially have some in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Somebody is all dressed, has had her breakfast, and we are off to go to school. Let's get this door. We gotta get her in here. You ready to go to school? What do you think? Wanna go to school? She's <laughs> not happy about going to school today. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> all right.